Hello everybody and welcome back to Thumbcraft. And today we are doing something I should have done a long time ago. What we're doing is we're gonna make some Thomium tools. Alright, yeah. Cause uh we have not made them yet and I don't know why I haven't uh started making them yet, to be honest. Just really something I never did. So we're just going to make them now. And um, these are like normal tools, except they're kind of somewhere in between. Um, I believe they're somewhere in between iron, gold, or or yeah, iron diamond. They're somewhere in between those tools, and these can be uh, repaired. So I only really need to make one set of them ever, and uh, that is that. So we have moved on to the Lomium tools. I know really know why I haven't done it sooner or later because I could have done it ages ago I just never really did and uh, like you all have been saying this setup for a bookcase is wrong I do know that and I'm not like saying it's right or anything I just sort of never really seem to bother changing it if it matters so much to people I could change it but uh... Oh, well, okay fine I will okay so better yeah, it looks better. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at uh, researching some more forbidden stuff because forbidden things are some things which I have not been researching really. And to be honest, I think they are some of the best things that you can research because uh, they give you all the cool things like the tools and stuff like that. Talking about tools, might as well just repair some of my tools because it's so easy to repair things now. I, I love repairing tools. And also my thumb craft stuff's getting quite cool. Um I need more boots, so uh, I misplaced them somewhere. Okay, cool, so we've got a fragment of lost knowledge. Sorry, did I say forbidden before? I meant lost, uh I don't know, I can't speak some days. But um we're going to continue researching these until we get that stacked down and as you can see we're gonna get quite a bit, so uh that's all cool. So while that's all doing its stuff, I want to uh, have a look at that tainted land that we got last episode. Hmm. So yeah, this is definitely turning into a little bit of a problem. Definitely, because there are it it is sort of spreading a little bit. Ooh, tainted slime. Haven't seen these before. I don't think they're really any different apart from the fact that they're a little. I don't even think that was a tinted slime, I think I was just a normal slime, just looking a little bit purpley. I think it was, yeah, it was just a normal slime. Oh well. So, um, yeah, it is definitely spreading, and these things, I've uh, had a look at them. You can't really get rid of them, because you can break their block, like so. But they will grow back in the future, and no creeper, stay back. Stay back, creeper. Anyway, so uh, one thing that I do kind of want to start doing kind of soon is I want to start being able to um, make potions like uh, purity potions and things like that to uh, maybe help stop spread the thing a little bit because as you can see it is slowly spreading towards that area, my base, so it's not good. And um, I do know there's different ways of getting rid of this. Like for example, one way is to um, use uh, uh, the condensers, and then what the condensers do is if you put the harnessed evil on them, or the concentrated evil, or I forgot the exact name of it. Let's check. Uh, let's see. It is this one here. The no, sorry, this one. Yeah, the concentrated evil. It unlocks functions involving taint, and what it does is actually, if you put tainted crystals in, and I have tested this in a different world, it actually uh, starts sucking in the taint from the area, lowering it, uh, so that is probably something quite good. That's quite a good idea to do. So I think I'm probably going to have to do that in the future, because this is really getting a bit out of stock. Um, really wish I didn't open that. I really wish I didn't. But anyway, hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. I'm hoping as well that, um, like as you can see, it it doesn't, like, uh, it, it does take quite a while for me to run back here. And I'm hoping that the high levels of V's will sort of stop it and act as a sort of a fortress because it does slow it down a little bit, I know. 
but it doesn't uh, like make it immune to it so it could take a bit of effort to try and clear that up I'm going to try and do it a bit off camera um, but I definitely want to see how our fragments of lost knowledge are going uh, so let's go and check that out because I have left it running while I was there suicide attempt let's see oh Thomic Enchanter cool and we got 37 of them okay I didn't even realize you can get those. Apparently, then you can get them from just directly doing this. But wow, 37, that's a lot. I feel that we're going to have a lot of things researched a little today. We have a slight problem. I'm taking in too many of these. I think I'm going to need to just get them all to hunt. I normally just take what I need to make the bookcase, but uh, I think today we're going to have to make a ton of bookcases. Okay, so we finished and we got a total of one more out of like the five or six that were left. And uh, what we're going to now be doing is kind of the fun bit. Let's see what we get out of all these. A 41% chance rate. Uh, that's quite high. And uh, with a lot of stuff, we're going to get a lot of things. Seven league boots, pretty cool. Charms of cleansing, charm of cleansing. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it running for a little while. Oh, let's see. Wand of Reversal. Oh, that's good. You can get things back from seals with that. Although it's a percentage. Let's see what else we get. I'm not going to show all of them, obviously. Uh, traveling Trunk. Oh, that's good. Uh, they're really cool. Let's see what else we get. Arcane Focus. Uh, I, well, I need uh, to start doing arcane boar stuff because they are pretty cool thomic enchanter again what was my other thomic enchanter it was a moderate that's a hard i think i'll stick with moderate alright another arcane focus thomic crystallizer cool they're really cool you can do stuff with them sword of zephyr they're super cool definitely they're cool what i'm looking for is a pickaxe of core because they are uh, extremely awesome you can do really cool things with that concentrated V's that will be very helpful for my issues with tint land well what you want is the con or the purifying one because it actually gets rid of it the concentration V's just sort of levels the V's in the area another arcane focus I'm getting plenty of stuff here got seven league boots again with a torturous oh just got another one thomic chanter again Great. Oh, <laughs> another one. Uh, concentrated V's again. Interesting. Uh, Thalmic Generator. That's cool, but a bit pointless in this series because I don't have any other real mods that I'm going to be installing to it. Thalmic Generator again. Uh, can't stack those, unfortunately. I'm going to need to clear some space soon. Oh, <laughs> another one. Arcane Focus Air. Wow. That, that's crazy <laughs> how many theories I have there. I'm sort of just going all out with it today, I think. Charm of Life, that sounds interesting, definitely. Very cool. Sword of Zephyr again, interesting. Charm of Vigor. That, um, Vigor, maybe, I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But that, uh, heals hunger, I know. Another Focus Water, do we have that one? I'm not sure if we had that one before. And I think I may not get that many more. Might as well just show you the rest of them. I have pretty much shown you it all. Um, oh, Arcane Focus Fire. We already had that one. I'll just leave it in there for now just to pile up. Actually, I'm going to need to go and store some things away, I think, maybe. Just possibly. We'll, we'll, we'll wait till this clears out. See how many we get in the end of things. Another, another Thalmic Enchanter. Get a lot of those. Uh, let's see one more. Okay, last chance. Charm of cleansing. Oh, it worked again. Oh, the paper, of course. <laughs> uh no, I'm gonna need to get some paper. Oh yeah, I still have all that stuff lying there. Oh well. So uh, let's see. Still on three. Let's try and get one more. Hopefully. <laughs> it works again. 
Uh, seven leak boots, moderate. Okay, that's it there. So I think what I kind of want to do is uh, learn the Thomic Enchanter first, maybe, because it seems quite cool. And this is going to take a while, definitely. So I'm going to uh, probably do most of the stuff on my own, because let's face it, I pretty much have got all these. I don't think I've lost any of these yet. Um, although they are all pretty much easy. I think I got one torture or tort. I've always said this wrong. Torturous. Um, so I think I only got a lot one, which is Thomic Generator, which is good because I won't be using that anyway because I don't have anything to use it on really. But um, it's all cool. It's all cool. Definitely. Actually, I probably should just leave those in there because uh, I need all the space I can get. Sort of Zephyr next. Let's see how you this one works. Hmm. Not too expensive actually. Um, I thought it would be more expensive than that. So uh, it works the exact same as a normal enchantment table except it requires V's instead of uh, character levels which is cool so I can pretty much just do loads of stuff on it. And uh, let's refill the book cases. Definitely have plenty of spares. Uh, let's see, we got it. Yep, we got it. Sort of Zephyr. Awesome. Uh, Thumb Crystallizer, I guess, would be next up. Would be cool today. Let's have a look at this. Sword of Zephyr is not too expensive at all, actually. I thought it would be way more expensive than that. And it's sword which uh, allows you to uh, summon wind powers and lightning and pull your enemy enemies towards you. Uh, and it even gives you the power of flight. So uh, that's cool. And this one's almost done. And uh, let's research, or let's uh, see what this is. Mm -hmm. Kind of expensive, but it's not too bad. And what it does it, it lets you uh, convert liquid V's uh, back into a depleted crystal, and it's self uh, semi-random, so it's influenced by the surroundings. So, uh, i.e., I think I um, I, be I believe that uh, this is under the forest still. I, I think the the uh, jungle's still over there a bit. So I'd get maybe more of these type crystals, uh, maybe air crystals a little bit. And uh, let's get concentrated V's, I guess, next. And um, I'm probably just going to stop sh this here and do them all off camera because I'm sure none of you want to see me just do these for hours upon hours and end. Because we have stuff to do this episode. Okay, so I have got three left, uh, basically two. And uh, they are the Thomic Generator, the Charm of Life, and the one of Reversal, because they are the hardest. Uh, over here, I have all the ones on the ground which have either been duplicated, like I've got many of, or um, like they're, they're, well, no, no, they are all duplicated ones, but like I, I've went for the easiest one to learn uh, first, because that would make more sense. And uh, some of them, like these tricky ones, I would have to learn. Luckily, all the torturous ones I got, I would have to. Uh, like I, um, all the torturous ones are, like in that pile, cause I had duplicates of them, which are easier. Uh, that was one of them, I believe. But uh, let's have a look at what we have got. So some of them you may have seen. I showed you that one. Showed you that one. Okay, so this is the Arcane Focus Air, and uh, it's just a uh, Arcane Focus combined with an Air Crystal. Uh, crystallizer. I showed you that. Concentrated V's is very easy, just a, a glass bottle and V's crystal. And it is an unstable liquid which is highly concentrated in the form of V's and it will evaporate uh, rapidly uh, to the exposure of air, but unfortunately, or but sorry, but fortunately it will seep into the aura. Um, charm of Vigor, or Vigor, sorry, and it kept and the person will feed them and protect them from drowning. So that's pretty cool. In the old version of the game, like uh, Thumbcraft 1, it only uh, made you like not hungry, so it only like uh, fed you. So I guess that's what the fish is for. Uh, yes, League of uh, Seven League Boots, which are very cool. These boots will allow you to fly, except I need to search the boots of striding beforehand. The Charm of Cleansing uh, will cure you from harmful effects like poison um, and fire. If it, it does not protect you from di direct fire damage, but keep in mind that you, it can wear it out and destroy it if overused. The Arcane Focus Earth, the same as air but with an earthen crystal. Uh, if I just. No, wait. 
or this is <laughs> very annoying because they're, they're all the same so it doesn't look like you're placing them but you are okay so let's see uh, so there's the arcane focus fire same as always air again I must research that twice okay traveling trunk that is really cool really easy to make and I will hopefully be making a couple of those in the future um, atomic generator again it's not something I need um, because I'm not using it in the game because it um, as you see here it uh, it turns these into uh, industrial craft EU red power blue electricity and build craft uh, MJ so that's not needed and then the, finally the water one and oh we got the wand of reversal let's see this one um, arcane singularity and a wooden thing and what it does it hands back with time mystical wall uh, it turns back the hands of time and allows you to retrieve runic essence and upgrades once they have been placed one uh, it isn't guaranteed that it will be successful although um, it can be also used to retrieve animated chests which are the um, the other chest things and then finally the charm of life uh, I'll get going okay so those have seemed to have despawned but that's okay because um, I wasn't going to be using them anyway uh, I, I kind of wanted them to despawn to be honest and finally uh, let's try and get that one going and I'm just going to leave that because I don't really see much point in it uh, in me like trying to do it if uh, you know it's going to take forever for me just to sit there and do it so what I'm going to do is just going to chuck these all in the chest and I need to pretty soon make a chest room to be honest because um, I'm kind of quite like quickly going to be running out of space uh, I've got that entire chest I don't really want to use that up but I think we're going to have to start using it and so I'll just put all these in here for now. Uh, one thing, however, I do want to do is I want to make the Thomic Enchanter. Where is it? It's probably in this chest, isn't it? Where is it? I also want to use some of that. Um, I probably missed it. Oh well, it doesn't matter because I do remember it. And wait, what am I doing? <laughs> it's all in here, here, the thumb automaton. The uh, thumbing long long strong. Okay, so let's see what we got. So for Lost, we have uh, got quite a lot of them. There's only three... No, sorry, how many is that? Four left that we need. Forbidden, we still need... Two more. Tainted, we need all of them. And Elder Rich, out of 12, we have got... Eight. Yep. So that's fun. Um, now let's go ahead and make. Whoop! Didn't mean that to happen. Uh, let's go ahead and make the uh, thumb thing. The <laughs> uh, thomic enchant or the yeah the thomic enchanter. So what we need is one of these, and then we need some of these. Um, I need more of these crystals pretty soon, and some of these. Uh, I know you don't need. I'll six them, I'll just make six because I'm not entirely sure how many you need. It's something like that though, it's it's quite close. And let's head down here. Combine these actually I need I want to make some concentrated vase potions, so it probably is a good idea not to use them all up. Uh, let's see. What is the actual thing for it? How many will you actually need? you need four of them cool so let's make four then it's nice the way these are really quick to make I always like that now uh, what we also need to do is make a thing so we need some more obsidian and a book for that okay let's make the legit enchanter so how you do that is two diamond four obsidian a book and a book, right, like that. And finally, we'll make the uh, Thomic Enchanter. There we go. So, where are we gonna place this? I guess. Um, hmm. Takes to got that there. Need to get my thing back, don't I? I anyway, do. For now, we will move this. 
and we're just going to put this there for now and while we're here um, actually I think I'm probably going to just leave it there like that's going to be its official spot for it um, but although what we do need to do is we need to hook it up uh, to the these system that we have going so let's do that now I think I if I uh, mine straight through here I should be able to pick up a direct live wire Sorry, it's probably very dark. Yeah, I'll do this off camera. And there we go. Cool. So, as I say, we hit a direct one. I know I'm lighting with a redstone torch. I don't ask why. Um. Okay. And then that should be able to link directly to there. Epic. And, uh, oh no. Okay, so I've linked that up to there. And if I place that there, it should all be good. So now if we look at this, I can enchant something, let's just, uh, well no, I guess it'll be fine if I just do it on my uh, pickaxe, I might as well uh, fully heal it, just while I'm here, and let's do this, okay, so let's see how it works, now it will tell you uh, what level it's equivalent to along the edge here, and I'm kind of wanting to aim for like a level 50 so I'll need to put bookcases around that side there so I'll do that uh, now because I have bookcases on me thankfully and uh, you know what I have the bookcases to spare I'll just do that for now so let's see what levels I get now 50 and it's only 250 V's which is a couple of chambers but or a couple of storage tanks but we'll do that and see how well it goes now I hope this doesn't interfere with it if you break it uh, no it seems to be going fine now unfortunately it's not instant enchantment so you will have to wait for ages for the V's to flow through but it seems uh, all good and I'm not sure how much of it it will take up uh, but I I think I have plenty of it. Seems like I have plenty. Yeah, I have plenty. And lastly, I want to make some uh, glass bottles so that I can infuse them to make. Oh, cool! You can't shift click fusers apparently. Oh no, you can. It just you can't shift click them from there. That's interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I just kind of wasted loads of stuff. And uh, because this is working from here, it's very slow here, I know. So I have to keep that in mind when I'm doing it. Although the nice thing is I'm only going to have to enchant these once, assuming that I get a good enchantment. Um, okay, cool. So I got one concentrated vase. That's what I wanted. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw these on my uh, tinted land and see how much the effect is. It. I know it's not going to be loads because it doesn't... Uh, effect really that much ever but let's see and um, I guess we'll leave that well no it's almost done let's see what we get we'll wait here till we get it yeah so it has drained a little bit of stuff but it should be fine that should hold through and keep the stuff together at least I'm only gonna have to really enchant once I'm thinking that I may not uh, if I'm only enchanting everything once I may not need to have it here but let's see what we got let's see what we got please be good Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. <laughs> oh, well, that's awesome. Efficiency 5 on Breaking 3, Fortune 3. Um, now, these uh, are, like, really good for enchanting. Um, as in, they got, like, they're like gold. They got properties of gold in, or at least for the first version. I'm not sure if this counts in the new version, actually. But, um, it's got properties of gold in the fact that it, uh, sort of can uh, have gold properties. Now let's see, I'm going to go for the axe. I'm not going to go for as big an enchantment because I don't really want to waste as much V's on it. Although, I'm guessing a level 40 should do. I'll, I think I'll go 45, 46. Let's try and get a 45. Next 41 I see, I'll choose. Okay, so I find a 42. It's uh, not too bad. I'll just go with 42. It should be fine. Although, uh, let's head back to the taint land and see how it's doing. And then let's uh, spray some of this around it. And hopefully, 
try and to get it to uh, decrease a little bit. Yeah, so it has spread a little bit. Um, but let's try and do this. Let's hopefully this you should. Okay, I did nothing. <laughs> um, it increased V's levels a little bit. But V's levels are going down. Uh, unfortunately, oh, uh, this is definitely not good. Uh, oh, why has this happened? Why have I made this happen? Yeah, we need to get some of that uh, concentrated evil pretty soon. But anyways, that is not as much of an issue for now. Let's see what we got with this. Efficiency 5 on breaking 3. Not bad, not bad, definitely not bad. And lastly, I want to do the shovel. And the reason why uh, you may be wondering um, why I'm not doing the sword is because I kind of want to get the sword of Zephyr. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now. If I uh, run up here and uh, get the sort of Zephyr stuff out. So what you need, I believe, is a, a three Vapor's Crystals, which I have plenty of. Oh. And then a Enchanted Wood, which I think I have some of. Maybe. Uh, maybe not. Oh, I have loads of... I have Vapor's Crystals there for some reason. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna to need to make some of that. Uh, I believe you can use anything. I'll use some earthen because I have plenty of the earthen. And I'll you, you just do some normal wood. I'll uh, use some of this wood because it's good. It gives you more than um, what's expected, let's just say. So uh, let's head down there again. And we will infuse this stuff together. Earthen and great wood. And we get five. And then we are going to put that. Uh, well, it's a crafting recipe, isn't it? it? Yeah, you put that there. Put three of them like that. And the sword. Or the, yeah, the sword there. And there you go. You get the sword of Zephyr. Let's see what we got here. Unbreaking three, efficiency four. It's a good one. And this one, I want to go out for a five again, I think. I got level 50. Which will mean me heading into Philly doing it. I will probably make some sort of redstone contraption thing so that I could uh, go in and out without having to interfere as much with it. But uh, while saying that, I don't really think I'm going to be doing this that much anymore. It's just really this one, like a once off thing where I do them all in one. Uh, because pretty much once I have them all. I can just repair them, so it's not really a big issue for me. Now right, let's see. I'll try and get a level 50. Yeah, I'm just going to do the whole cobblestone thing because I think it's better. <laughs> if you didn't know, if you use cobblestone, you can just sort of tap it and it'll fly along. There we go. Got level 50. Let's do that. And uh, wow, that breaks things fast. Definitely. And let's see. Youch. So I've lost a little bit of V's, definitely. Um, I'll maybe do some AFKing trying to get that up. Although I don't want to do too much AFKing anymore. I used to like AFK, just like leave it on overnight, sort of AFK, um, which is crazy. Um, but now I'm kind of worried about the tainted land that maybe that AFKing is not the best idea in the world. So I don't know, I may not FK at all really. Uh, I should collect a, a lot more V's, like uh, V's you do get a lot of overnight. But anyway, so um, I think it's definitely um, probably a good time to be start ending up the episode here. So what I'm going to be doing is I will uh, we'll wait a bit for that to uh, get fully done and we'll see what we get. And then we will uh, end the episode, so yeah. Oh, and I forgot to show you the Charm of Life, I just realised. That is Charm of Life there. It's Ender Pearl and Cactus Green. And it will keep the person continually regenerating. Although it can run out. So you have to keep that in mind. So you will need to repair it. Although I think the repair is a bit overdone. But still pretty cool. And I better check this actually. Right now, can you repair? 
enchanted items, and yes, they will keep their enchantment, so that's awesome. And let's see, is this done yet? Nope. Um, the way to tell is that there's a sort of spinny thing around it, but um, I still clicked on it. Oh, it's finished. Let's see what we got. Please be good. Smite and looting. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> now, uh, what this does is a really, really cool thing. If uh, none of you watched my last series, you wouldn't know what it does, but uh, it pretty much lets you fly. Now, it does run out kind of quickly if you fly around with it, and uh, that was one thing I always did, but um, I can now repair everything, so it's all good. Now, I believe at the start of the episode, this was here, I sort of, so yeah, that spread a couple of blocks, and it's not really going to stop spreading ever, so I'm going to need to get some of this tainted, oh, like, away stuff uh, pretty quickly. Because, um, so I would appreciate out, 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 out. Uh, anyway, so I'd appreciate it in the comments below if anyone would tell me uh, what type of research you need to do for the Harness Rain, or for the, I always said it wrong, the uh, Concentrated Evil. Uh, because uh, I'm not entirely sure what you're supposed to uh, research for. It. So, so, you know, it could be anything. Um, so, uh, yeah. Anyway, so. That is, uh, as I say, really all I want to do this episode. So, um, until next time, I guess. See ya. That's better. <laughs> I was waiting for them to finish. Okay, see ya. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Thomcraft. And today, we are doing something I should have done a long time ago.